this week on A Beautiful Life. Hello, my lovies. It's a Thursday. Look, check my bow tie out. Y'all see me? Hmm? Babe, why you gotta walk up and try to steal my shot? <laughs> you see she trying to come in the background all smooth and cool. Nah, we about to head out to this uh, date night for, what's the name of the date night? Society? 414. Society 414 and it's supposed to change. It's a secret supper club. It's supposed to change your dating experience here in the Atlanta area. And we're looking forward to it, right, babe? Babe's looking fa fantastic. Fabulous. So you look beautiful, girl. And she says she ain't have a good day, but she make it look easy. That's why I married you. Look. Hold on. Come over here. Shut up my outfit. Come here, boo. You look good. Mm, Y'all check her out. Let me see. Work it. Work it. Uh, where you get this dress from, girl? Buffalo Exchange in New York City. Buffalo Exchange in New York City. $12. Ask me where I got this oh, shirt from. The back, oh, you want me to show the back? It ain't my turn. It's not my turn yet, I guess. Here we go. Oh, that's fabulous. I love those shoulders too, baby. <laughs> this shirt right here came from Buffalo Exchange. You know, I'm kind of into that tuxedo kind of look. I'm good. Y'all want to see me down? Wipe me down? Head to toe? Oh. 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 Boom! We have. we have made it to the solarium. This is where the event will be held. So before, well, when we got the invite, it didn't, they didn't reveal, say, how did it go? Yeah, they didn't reveal the location until 41 hours before the event. They gave us so clues. So you found out like two days ago? Yeah. They gave us clues on what, what were the clues? The I ain't get it. The, clue, the clues were fresh and the colors were like black and gold and cream yeah. I, um and then now let me show the solarium this is what this where the location is today it's pretty cool actually uh we've been here for the what event was that that was the atlanta birth center. atlanta birth center if y'all remember that video Their annual silent auction yeah and i actually this is where I gotta shoot that wedding on July the 4th. Oh, 4th of really? July. This is, this is. Yeah, Independence Day. This is where I'll be at. Solarium. It's in a historic Scottish Rite hospital from way back in the day. So, Babe was signing her photo release. They'll be taking photos tonight throughout the event. I'm vlogging right now. Don't worry about me. <laughs> it's okay. This and then is this a little is for you all. We're gonna have a fresh, like a competition for a scratch off. And then this is for bingo. So if you walk up to other couples and do bingo, you can win something. Oh, okay. Bingo. Mm -hmm. This is one of the drinks. Uh, Trina. Trina. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a variation Trina. of the uh, Moscow Mule. Tequila. So, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get it. Can you share with me? Yeah, She's gonna write. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like to taste like, the tequila, we're just doing a little, a little taste of the tequila. Tequila, so I can do can, that. You know, pretty much understand, you know, the, the, the tequila behind the drink. We have the real deal of a small batch pink crafted tequila. We are from a small town in Mexico called uh, Amatitan, okay. instead of Jalisco, where, uh, where tequila is from. As a matter of fact, Amatitan was the very first place in the world that actually made tequila. Oh. Yeah, and in other words, they started, they brought the distiller. <coughs> we have the real deal of a uh, small batch and handcrafted tequila. <laughs> nice <laughs> selfie video. <laughs> How is oh, wow. Yeah. Really good. You, you were rolling your eyes before you drank it, my friend. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, won't, she won't take it. Oh, no, no, no. no. Okay. You don't want to taste it? Oh, no, no. no. 18 months. 18 months. Beautiful okay, complexity. This is his third one. I don't vanilla. know if you can hang on. Some caramel. Put your poker good. face on. <laughs> take it before and yeah. <laughs> You're still tasting it, right? Yeah. It's just off to know which team you're assigned to. Okay. And then if you want to catch up in bingo, um, this is a way for you to get to know other people here. I know. You find people who match and then whoever gets five first. That is so awesome. Here we have to have a picture together. Definitely. So we're playing bingo with 
AJ and Eleanor. And, uh, Can't swim. You gotta ask swim. around, see yeah. somebody's. Well, questions. I can swim, but I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll help you out with one. I've been to uh, more than four continents. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Yeah, you pick that off. Oh, yeah. You can check oh. that one off. She's still trying to figure the game out. No, it's that she knows me that uh, So, for me, uh, can't solve the match, can't do that. Uh, knows the magic trick. Um, they actually have a shutter booth, too. Yeah. Shutter booth? That's the photo booth, if you didn't know. And these are some of the tables. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Where's our TV? We're back here. It's cool. Look at this. Huh? What we gotta do? We gotta make guacamole. What? How you know we gotta make guacamole? Hello. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, hi. This, then we'll go into dinner. But really quickly before we start, we have bingo prizes. Ooh. We have um, Lisa, Zachary, the one Ooh. first. We have a Georgia Crafted box for you. And Ashley was our second person. So it's game time. We're about to make uh, our own guacamole tonight. Bring a table up front. Okay. You can grab anything from that table and incorporate it if you want to get the extra edge for the competition. Okay. This is one of the judges right here. He's going to be uh, coming through and believe me, I love you to ask questions like that, Master Chef. So we got to make a serious guacamole. Yeah, you got to make it. Let's go, baby. We got to do it. They ain't chopping up the garlic. <laughs> the garlic going really? I see you. I have to do a lot of interaction. So I think that's like the main thing is I just finished making the black and stuff. And he just came over here to um, basically test it and see if he liked it. So we made three different variations. Of course, we can't do anything by the book. So we made one that was spicy, one that was even more spicier, and then one with fruit. The beaches, my little Georgia beach. They call it a tea guac. Guac a tea. Why is he like looking? I mean, they're gonna good, beat us. And he's like, look at the But this is our table. Yeah. We just threw down. The winner tonight is team number two. Number two, number four for presentation. Most of them, except for one, which I will mention. Oh. <laughs> so these are the tables that we're sitting at. Look at each other. Thank you so much. Yeah, here we go. What'd you say? I'm into you. Table number three. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Really nice. I think we were literally the second place. Yeah. Monday, Chuck, this is the dinner menu. No, no, it's much. I haven't had in a while. I have a passion for creating beautiful and 
to you know entertain and so this gives me another outlet to do that aside from weddings um, so we just wanted to give you an idea of what society 414 is all about each event um, is it includes four elements which includes a secret location as you have all experienced you buy tickets to the event you're not quite sure where it's going to be until the location is revealed um, the second element are style environments I love creating beautiful spaces um, I want you to come in to an environment that um, you know you feel inspired by um, so that's what we've done in the space today the third element is inspired cuisine um, so whatever our theme or sort of what we're focusing for in that event the food and the drink will um, be an additional element of the event and then the last is the experience we want like you experience tonight the guacamole competition we really want to you know create a night that's not dinner or movie where you get to you know really be able to interact with your your partner or your friend that you're coming out with the date night with um, and really be able to have a good time and do something out the box do something different do something fun this is like so nice i feel like we're at a wedding <laughs> it's like so nice from the linens to like the menus and just the the floral bouquet like look at this gorgeous i mean it does it looks like like <laughs> This is the mixed greens with honey lime vinaigrette, tortilla crisps, tomato with tropical fruit and tahini. We also have live music. Coconut rice. Coconut rice. I didn't get coconut rice. I should have got some. And this is the shrimp and pollo. So we are headed to uh, outside is where the uh, dessert is for the evening. So we're excited about dessert. So we got some champagne. Oh, the little favors. And uh, this is favored bottles of water. <laughs> you know, I'm just... There you go. We got cupcakes. Oh, actually, he's got a good idea. I'm just going speaking to try and get some of these cupcakes. Yeah, that looks good. So they have a pinata. And he's going to attempt to hit it. Let's see if he can get it. Ah. So we are headed into CBS to get paid, so feel better. She's not feeling that great. She has a little headache. But she's a champ. You was a champ at the event day. We enjoyed ourselves. It was an enjoyable experience. Um, very nice and well done. Hi my lovies. Today is Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's the end of the week. It's the last day. Why am I such in a good mood? I don't know. This goodness. They're growing. Yay. I'm so happy. So we went to Ikea and we forgot to show you guys what we ended up getting. Um, but if I can put the picture up to show you, I'll put it in here so you can see it somewhere on here. Um, but they didn't have the furniture in the store. So we have to pick it up from this place in Tucker. I think it's their warehouse. So I pick it up next Friday. Oh, but at least we'll have some furniture and somewhere to sit out. And I know you all are like, Tia, why do you sound like that? But remember when I got sick from New York? Well, for some reason, some cold-like symptoms came back. So I'm like, my voice is gone and a little TMI, but I've been coughing up phlegm and stuff. It's been really congested in my chest. I mean, I'm feeling a lot better than I did the last two days. I have been taking medicine every night. It's just really weird. So <laughs> I um I got in the pool one day last week and I think I got in the pool a little too soon. I was like a little too like you know serious about getting in the pool. Um so I'm not gonna get in the pool today, although it's 93 degrees today. But yeah, 
Trey and I are just gonna chill at home tonight, probably order in something to eat because he has a lot of editing to do as far as um, weddings goes. And he has a wedding on Sunday. So it's gonna be a pretty, uh, pretty good night in with the Pattersons. Good morning. Good morning, my lovies. Say good morning, my lovey dude. Say, mate. Say good morning, my loveys. Hey, buddy. Somebody's happy. So, I'm about to head to help uh, T and them move. I had to stop by T.O. place. I see you. <laughs> so, we supposed to go to uh, Trayvon's uh, all white party, and I don't got nothing that's all white, so I'm trying to borrow some jeans. <laughs> so I bought this shirt right here. That's close enough to all white. And then these jeans are like light blue white. I'm gonna be a sore thumb as usual. So we'll see. Close enough to white though. I'm good. Are you in there? Hey, look, check me out. Good luck. Good luck. You walking there? What up, my nigga? Put the glove up. Put the glove up. I get in the booth like, yo, Trey P. Kellum with the glove on his hand. Show him the glove. Left hand, but you know he the man. Got the ball glove, got that baby what? Room, stick him. What? Get him in, get him what? up. Then he what? gotta hit him. What? Hit what? him with the left, then what? he hit him with what? the right. What? Stop what? Him with the open what? hand. You know it's night. What? I what? get it in. I got what? my boy T.O. Oh, we what? in the beat. About to what? get it up. You know, I ain't brushed my teeth yet. <laughs> you, all like, oh! my <laughs> <laughs> you all in my face. You all in my face. So I'm about to show to you this video of my home <laughs> our home girl from college. <laughs> she can't cook no chicken. Her name Crenshaw. And it uh, ain't Crenshaw no more. It ain't Crenshaw. Oh yeah, it's it's Brown. 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 It's Crenshaw. Crim Brown. Crim Brown. But uh, anyway, y'all, y'all, y'all know on uh, Facebook that whole uh, gospel challenge has been going out when people be singing. You know, usually it's people who can sing, but now it's getting to the point where like people who can't sing just getting challenged to be like, you love the Lord, right? So go ahead and worship him on Facebook type thing. I bet and, you won't. <laughs> I bet you won't love the Lord on Facebook. Too. But it ain't. But like, it ain't no joke. Like people be serious. About, you know, you can't boot a choir, the children's choir in church. I've never seen this video. All right, so look, I'm gonna get Tio's reaction to Chris. Oh, uh, hold on. Saturday, people. I am here because I have been challenged by <laughs> She don't get me from filming this. Everybody knows singing is not my gift. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna give you what I got. Don't judge me. It's not about you. It's about the Lord. <laughs> Sing it, Korean. Give us some time, y'all. Not morning. He is here to lift your heavy heart. To lift your Korean like that. He said to lift. You know you gonna have to be called to lift. She can't see. She can't see it, man. She tried. I'm not laughing at Chris. <laughs> hey, whoever was holding that camera steady, I know they was right at will have. Look. <laughs> We're here at Hannah and Tommy's new house. Okay. And we are okay. so, moving. Okay. Yes. Okay. So basically, we pretty much packed up everything from the old house. And we are moving into this baby. And Hannah is pregos. So we're trying to make sure she takes it easy. Yeah. They're so awesome. And so is Erin. So they're inside only right now. I'm inside just because I'm the only one who wore jeans. Clearly, um, I wasn't ready. We're on our lunch break. We have some pizza from Grant Central Pizza. 
they're the best. <laughs> I've never had them. Yeah. Well, Hannah and Tommy's the best for providing this for us. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? These are so amazing. Woo! And this pizza um, is gonna make everything perfect right now. I have the veggie one. I've been wanting green peppers too, so that's perfect timing. I bought Dude a Bone from TJ Maxx for three dollars. It's like a bacon that? flavored bone. He's tearing that boy up too. Yeah. How do they put bacon flavors in the I don't plastic? Know. But you, like that? you can't really smell mm -hmm. any bacon or anything, and it like when it gets wet, it doesn't oh, like it. Like fish. But because he's on my carpet, I don't want him to like get my carpet dirty. So with he's this type of hard up. plastic, look, look at this. <laughs> I know, you know he loves stuff like that. <laughs> but it's good, like for, his for those of you who have dogs at home, it's always good to be able to take stuff. We've been doing it from a very young age so that um, when our nephews and nieces ever come over and when we decide to have children, the um, one of the huge things is to be able to take food and bones away from your dog like in the moment and they don't get like all mad and stuff. So it's always good to always keep their temperament as it should be safe for kids and stuff. So I always tend to mess with his bones and stuff to make sure he doesn't get upset. All right. No, he doesn't get upset. He just thinks you want to play with him. So he's like, you want to play? You going to throw it? <laughs> he's like, hey, give me my bone pack. That's mine. Babe, look at him. He's like, hey. I'll let him get a little, a little go at it. But, uh, okay, that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> Look at him waiting patiently. He's like, okay, daddy, that's enough. Mmm, all good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Get out of here. Hi, my lovies. Thanks so much for watching, as always. We had a wonderful weekend, but it's not over yet. Stay tuned for part two, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Mwah. <laughs> Praise him. Praise him! <laughs> Lift every voice Give him a song to y'all. Tell him to y'all. To the heavens! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. To what? To all the heavens ring. Is that the words to the song? You don't know the Black National Anthem? Do you know the Black National Anthem? <laughs> Lift every voice I thought it was lift every voice and sing. Why you keep stopping my heaven. song? It's hey, till uh, earth and heaven ring. I thought that's the words though. Y'all probably know better than me. Y'all natural hair girls, you know. I know this. <laughs> oh, I got one for you. Give it to him. I know I've been bold. <laughs> I know I've been bold again. I've been bold. You know I've been bold. You know I've been bold again. Start, we have bingo prizes. Ooh. We have um, Lisa. Zachary, the one first. We have a Georgia Crafted box for you. And Ashley was our second person. Wow. This is definitely not going to be every Society 414 event, but we decided since this is a new fresh concept to Atlanta that we would run with the fresh concept, so that's our word for the night. And with that, we thought limes, authentic Mexican, and who better to bring all the way from Tennessee, but um, Alvaro Victoria, who is here. He grew, was born and raised in Mexico from Alcapoco. And so he's gonna talk a little bit about the difference between the Mexican Mino and the Mexican that he grew up with. And also he will be leading the demonstration today. And you guys will follow along. So it's game time. You guys see the so you can see if We're about to make uh, our own guacamole tonight. You can grab anything from that table and incorporate it if you want to get the extra edge for the competition. Okay. <laughs> this is one of the judges right here. He's going to be uh, coming through. And believe me, I love you to ask questions like a uh, master chef. <laughs> so we got to make a serious guacamole. Yeah, you got to make Let's it. Let's go, baby. You got to do it. Big chopping up the garlic. 
Boom! We out! We have made it to the solarium. This is where the event will be held. So, before, well, when we got the invite, it didn't, they didn't reveal. Say, how did it go? Yeah, they didn't reveal the location until 41 hours before the event. They gave us So clues. you found out like two days ago? Yeah. They gave us clues on what What were the clues? The I ain't getting the, clue, the clues were fresh and the colors were like black and gold and cream. Yeah. I, um, and then... Now let me show the solarium. This is what the, where the location is today. It's pretty cool. Actually, uh, we've been here for the... What event was that? That was the Atlanta Birth Center. Atlanta Birth Center, if y'all remember that video. Their annual silent auction. Yeah. And I actually... This is where I gotta shoot that wedding on July the 4th. Oh, July. Really? This is, this is. Yeah, Independence Day. This is where I'll be at. Solarium. It's in a historic Scottish Rite hospital from way back in the day. So, Babe was signing her photo release. They'll be taking photos tonight throughout the event. I'm vlogging right now. Don't worry about me. <laughs> it's okay. This and then this is, is for you all. We're gonna have a fresh, like a competition for a scratch off. And okay. then this is for bingo. So if you walk up to other couples and do bingo, you can win something. Oh, okay. Bingo. Mm -hmm. This is one of the drinks. Uh, Trianon. Yeah. Uh, it's a variation of the uh, Moscow Mule. Tequila. So, yeah, okay. I'm uh -huh. gonna get it. You can share with me. Yeah, She's gonna write. <laughs> and if you like to taste like, the tequila, we're just doing a little, a little taste of the tequila. Tequila, I so can do can, that. You know, pretty much understand, you know, the, the, the tequila behind the drink. We have the real deal of a small batch pink crafted tequila. We are from a small town in Mexico called uh, Amatitan, okay. instead of Jalisco, where, uh, where tequila is from. As a matter of fact, Amatitan was the very first place in the world that actually made tequila. Oh. Yeah, in other words, they started, they brought the distillery. We have the real deal of a uh, small batch and handcrafted tequila. <laughs> nice <laughs> selfie video. <laughs> How is oh, wow. Yeah. Really good. You, you were rolling your eyes before you drank no, no, it, my friend. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She, won't, she won't take it. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Okay. You don't want to taste it? Oh, no, no. no. 18 months. 18 months. Beautiful okay, complexity. This is the third one. I don't vanilla. know if you can hang on. Some caramel. Put your poker face on. <laughs> take it before and the after. <laughs> You're still tasting it, right? Yeah. It's just off to know which team you're assigned to. Okay. And then if you want to catch up in bingo, um, this is a way for you to get to know other people here. I know. You find yeah, people who match so and then whoever gets by first. That is so awesome. Here we have to have a picture together. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So we're playing bingo with AJ and Eleanor. And, uh, Can't swim. You gotta can ask swim. around, yeah, see some of these. Well, questions. I can swim, but I'm not going to I'll help you out one. I've been to uh, more than four continents. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Yeah, you click that off. She's still trying to figure the game out. No, it's that she knows me that one. So, for me, uh, can't talk to man, can't do that. Uh, knows the magic trick. Um, they actually have a shutter booth, too. Yeah. <laughs> shutter booth? That's the photo booth, if you didn't know. And these are some of the tables. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Where's our TV? We're back here. It's cool. Look at this. <laughs> huh? What we gotta do? We gotta make guacamole? Yes. What? How you know we gotta make guacamole? Hello. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Hi. This then we'll go into dinner. But really quickly before we start. This week on A Beautiful Life. Hello, my lovies. It's a Thursday. Look, check my bow tie out. Y'all see me? Hmm? Babe, why you gotta walk up and try to steal my shot? <laughs> you see she trying to come in the background all smooth and cool. Now nah, we about to head out to this uh, date night for 
what's the name of the date night? Society? 414. Society 414 and it's supposed to change. It's a secret supper club. It's supposed to change your dating experience here in the Atlanta area. And we're looking forward to it, right babe? Babe's looking fa fantastic. Fabulous. So you look beautiful, girl. And she said she ain't have a good day, but she make it look easy. That's why I married you. Look, hold on, come over here, show them your outfit. Come here, boo. You look good. Hmm, y'all check her out. Let me see, work it. Work it. Um, uh, where you get this dress from, girl? Buffalo Exchange in New York City. Buffalo Exchange in New York City. $12. Ask me where I got this oh, shirt you didn't from. See the Oh, you want me to show the back? It ain't my turn. It's not my turn yet, I guess. Here we go. Oh, that's fabulous. I love those shoulders too, baby. <laughs> this shirt right here came from Buffalo Exchange. You know, I'm kind of into that tuxedo kind of look. I'm good. Y'all want to see me down? Wipe me down? Head to toe? Oh. 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 <laughs>